Hey beautiful people, my name is Brittany. And I'm Connor. And today we're going to be answering the question, how often do we have sex? Want more than what we can offer here? Go deeper with us. Enhance your sexual connections. Come check out our sex education videos at connorandbrittany.com. And maybe we can say like how often do we engage in sex play because I'm gonna just include like oral sex mm -hmm. in the course. Yeah, there's lots of fun. Anything sexy and fun. Fun play that we get into. I guess probably most of the time we end up having intercourse, but not all the time. And I, I do I do appreciate not um, having the idea that, you know, sex play always equals intercourse. Uh, yeah. Yeah, because it's so varied. It's so there's so many dimensions of sex play, you know. And we don't need to always have like oral sex. Sometimes we're like touching, mm -hmm. playing, touching. Yeah, we don't even have oral sex every time. Not even every time. <laughs> Although I would say we we love we tend that. towards the orals. That's quite fun. Um, can are we talking like average general, throughout our yeah. like five years together? Sure. Four and a half. Um, I think five times a week. Yeah, I think five times a week. Yeah. Five times in a seven day week. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it seems like every other day, yeah, mm -hmm. for the most part. Sometimes every day, and then sometimes we every get, third day. We have day. like a, th a three day in there or something, but... And it I, really... Do, oh, sorry. No, no. This is sex with each other, too. True. That is... Yeah, that's... That really depends. Pretty specific. That That's an important piece because, you know, we have an open relationship, we have other partners, we have other playmates. And we have other sexual encounters, um, and yeah, I guess I would still say kind of averages down to somewhere around there. I don't know. I would say like I don't think we necessarily have sex less when we're engaging sexually with other people. No, not no, I don't really. Think so because it's really fun to get to connect with each other during mm -hmm. that time too. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So I guess that pretty much answers that question. But we did also w want to talk about like how that's changed or if it has changed yeah, and, that and the reason why uh, in our relationship because it's exciting that it really hasn't changed that much in our relationship. Which is like this is the first relationship for me that I felt that that's been the case in. Yeah, yeah and I think most people notice that their desire to connect sexually kind of drops off maybe after the first six months or a year or, or something like that and that just really hasn't been the case for us. and. I think the big reason is that we uh, we really engage in a passionate relationship style and I feel very impassioned towards you on a on a regular basis and part of that has to do with the relationship dynamic we've chosen but I think a bigger part of that has to do with something any human being can bring into their relationships with which is like being more of ourselves and being really authentic yeah. and sharing like honestly you know, how I yeah. feel towards you and how you feel towards me. I love it. I love it too. I love it. And what my needs are, you know? And totally. Like, and that goes into like what my needs are in sex play too. Yeah, for sure. And I think the growth that comes along with that sort of authenticity and self-exploration and mutual mm. support of one another's self-exploration. Um, because I, I've noticed this is the first relationship where I haven't felt that for me after like six months, maybe a year if we had long distance in there mm. to like spice things up, <laughs> that this is the first time I haven't felt like a tapering in my sexual desire for somebody and actually I've felt an in increase. Like I steadily feel more attracted to you, totally. feel more like passionate about mm -hmm. you, feel more excited about our sexual connection. And I think a big part of it is that I get to see you every day as this new person you're always becoming. And it's exciting. And for sure, for me, a big part of it too is like getting to see you out in the world powerful, like getting to see you with other people sexually, getting to think about you in that way. And that's just an important piece for me. Mm -hmm. And also I know there's so many other pieces and I think the big thing is self-expression, growth, like not feeling stifled myself mm -hmm. and not feeling like I'm trying to stifle who you are and who are, who you are becoming. Absolutely. Yeah, our growth, um, you know, I mean, that's kind of how we focused our life is, is on individual growth and uh, relationship growth. So that is what's at the center of everything we do. That's super important for us. So we get to see the benefits of, of how that plays out as it's unfolding. Yeah. And what that really means, I think like what you were talking about is that we are constantly becoming new people um, because of, of the growth that we're focused on. 
And I also just want to say that it's totally okay if you, you know, you're, you've been with someone for a certain amount of time and you have noticed that your sex play has depreciated or like that you find other areas yeah, of your relationship. Other areas. Yeah, that's so that's great. great. Yeah, it's great for you. Whatever is great for you. And I think we're just, you know, sharing our experience and Definitely. this thing really excites me that we have been in a relationship now for four plus years and I feel more passionate about you as time goes on, not less. And I think the, the big reasons are things that we can all bring into our relationships. Any and style. Any style relationship. Authenticity, honest communication, compassionate connection lifting each other up support yeah yeah these are important tools for anybody i definitely had such fear of previous partners growth and i can see mm. how like i was initially attracted to them because mm. i saw them as this like powerful person in the world and then over time it was like <laughs> ah, stop growing no, be here with me. this predictable thing yeah. yeah yeah definitely i think human beings like i i see it all the time and i see how parts of me still want to play that out, you know, and how much that really doesn't benefit anybody in a relationship ultimately. So yeah, great yeah. things to think about. Thank you for the question. This is a great question. We've gotten a lot of this nature and we'd love to answer more like this. So if you mm -hmm. have some that you're curious about, please do post them in the comment section below. We read them all. And if you want some help, you know, diving deeper into your relationships, we have spent a lot of time creating a program called creating epic relationships. So check that out. It's on our website and we have the link down below in the description box as well. Thank you so much. <laughs> Bye. Sex. <laughs>